Okay, I'm gonna. Re All right, this is Doug, also known as Roxy785. I'm gonna be reviewing the XFX 9600 GT. Awesome card. This is the fastest card in this price range right now. So, alright. What you need to run this card is a 400 watt power supply with 26 amps on the 12 volt rail, a positive 12 volt rail. It's SLI ready, and it's got this little rim here. So, another card that you can just see the card, and you know, it'll actually look nice in your car, uh, case. You got dueling DVI S video with a breakaway cable if you need one. And the green DVI ports, pretty cool. It's PCI Express 2.0, really fast, and you need a six-pin PCI Express R connector. Okay, it is HDCP ready, HDTV ready, SLI ready, and the maximum resolution is 2560 by 1600. It has 512 of GDDR3 with a 256-bit interface and 64 stream processors. And the shaders are clocked at 1625. The memory is at 1.8 gigahertz effective and 650 megahertz for the core clock. And the memory bandwidth is 57.6 gigabytes a second. Gigabytes, not gigabits. It's a really nice card. It's about 9 inches long. Nice. And the maximum monitor is do not go above 28 inches because it's recommended on BFG.com that you do not go above uh, 28 inches as the monitor. Look at some uh, benchmarks on Company of Heroes at 1280 by 1024. This card got 40.8 frames a second. And the 8600 GTS got 15.8 frames a second, and the 8800 GS got 30. And the, at 1600 by 1200, this card got 30.2 frames a second. The 8600 got 10.7, and the 8800 GS got 24.4. And at 1920 by 1200, this card got 19.7 frames a second. The 8600 G GTS got 8.2 frames a second, and the 8800 GS got 24.4. 18.8 frames a second. On Fear, at 1600 by 1200, this card got 64 frames a second, which is very, very playable. And at the 8600 G GTS, got 29 frames a second. And at 1920 by 1440, this card got 40 fr 44 frames a second, which is still very playable. And at 2048 by 1536, this card got 40 frames a second. An Unreal Tournament, this card at 1280 by 1024 got 135 frames a second. And at 1600 by 1200, this card still got 101.6 frames a second. And at 1920 by 1200, this card got 77.7 .7 frames a second. And at 2560 by 1600, which is maxed out resolution, it's, this card still got 46.8 frames a second. So, it's a wicked nice card. So... You can, they don't have them on Tiger Direct anymore, but I bought this one for $70. <laughs> it comes with a S-Video cable and your drivers. So, I would recommend this for a lot of uh, gamers out there. It's a really nice card. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.